the backup catcher for about a decade in St. Louis has been a tough spot to fill. You know John Mosellock looks for talent. However, it's a tough spot to fill because you don't play. Well, Cruz will get his shot here in the last couple of weeks. Cardinal fans, did you know the StubHub app is personalized just for you? Now with the StubHub app, you can select your favorite teams and artists and discover new ones too. Start at StubHub. Let the fun find you. StubHub, the official fan-to-fan -fan ticket marketplace of the Cardinals. You know, I'm a Tony Cruz fan, but it is very tough. And say if if the Cardinals were going to try and go out and upgrade that position, you'd probably have to give a backup multi years and probably overpay him to come here with the understanding that he's not going to play. John Mosellock has tried that. He's tried to throw millions of dollars at various catchers out there to be a backup, and they say, eh, thanks, but no thanks. You're exactly right. And the one thing is, Yadi gets a little older, you know, you might be a, a easier sale because you could say that, you know, we'll, you know, almost say, okay, we're going to give you X amount of starts. But. It is one tough, tough player to replace. And whenever Mike Matheny hears what you're talking about replacing one of the players, he doesn't want to hear it because he thinks you're, you're you know, downgrading uh, the rest of players or the backup players that he has for that position. But it is reality. It's very tough to replace Yadi or Molina. Not necessarily saying replace Tony Cruz. I'm just saying it's right. a tough position to fill. Yeah, to have you know a backup for a guy that plays as often as Yachty does, and a guy that is so valuable to the pitching staff. The best prospect for the Cardinals at that catcher's position is Carson Kelly. He was at High A this year, and his defense is well ahead of the offense. Lamb grounds out to second.